These high protein pizza rolls were bomb and easy to reheat. And if you have kids, the kids are gonna love them. They were actually pretty quick to make as well. So here's how I did it. You can use the oven or the air fryer. I use the oven in this case and you're going to preheat it to 450 degrees. Get out your baking sheet and go ahead and spray that with some nonstick spray. Now for the entire recipe, it makes eight servings. And if you see this cottage cheese here, it has four servings in a container. We're gonna be using that whole container. Usually it's gonna be about 16 ounces. Now this step is optional, but it, it really doesn't take that long. So I highly suggest that you blend your cottage cheese because it'll be much more palatable and you won't even notice that there's cottage cheese in your dish. And this is gonna be a really good way to increase the protein of that pizza roll. Then you're gonna add that to a large mixing bowl. Next, you're gonna add two cups, which is usually gonna be the whole bag of low fat mozzarella cheese. I happen to find this one with only 40 calories per serving. It had a high protein, so you're gonna put that in your bowl. Next is the pizza sauce. Typically, this is gonna be a whole jar or just two cups. Try to get the lowest calorie that you can find. This one had about 25 calories per serving. Next, I used two packages and each package was 4.5 ounces of turkey pepperoni. Very important that you get the turkey kind. The lowest fat that you can get. And again, I used two packages. You could add them to your bowl just like this with the whole pepperoni. But I highly recommend you take the little extra time that it's gonna take and chop those pepperonis into quarters. And I just did this by stacking a bunch of them at a time and then putting them, cutting them into quarters before adding to the bowl. And this will make it a lot easier to eat and stuff your burritos. Next up is shredded chicken. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I'm a huge fan of buying the shredded chicken already cooked, already shredded from the store. A lot of stores are doing this. Walmart, H-E-B, I think even Target, Sprouts, and maybe even Whole Food now. I ended up using most of this small container and it was eight ounces total. So that comes out to about an ounce of shredded chicken in each burrito. And this is gonna help again, increase the protein content of the burrito. And I did this instead of using just more turkey pepperoni, instead just use the chicken. And like I said, with the pepperonis, you could just add the chicken like this to the bowl and start making your burritos. But I again, took the extra time and chopped the, that chicken up into smaller pieces. So it'd be more palatable, easier to eat and easier to stuff those burritos. Now, once you have the chicken added to the bowl, you're ready to stir it up and add some seasonings. I used oregano, garlic, and Italian, and you can just use these to preference. I like to use a lot of them because these particular seasonings don't have any calories in them. Plus, don't be that person that doesn't season your shit. Now you're ready to stuff the burritos. I use these from La Tortilla. They're low carb whole wheat, and these particular ones have 90 calories per tortilla. Now, here's where it gets slightly tricky. If you're someone that's logging your food and you want to make sure that each of your burritos have equal macros in them, then you need to do the step. And that is how much of this do we actually put into each burrito? Because we don't want to get done stuffing the burritos, rolling them up, and then realize that we have some left over or some are uneven, right? So what you're going to do here is place your whole entire mixture into a new bowl on top of the scale that was obviously zeroed out. And you're going to put that whole mixture, scrape it all in there so you know how much that entire mixture weighs. Rather than use pounds, it's better to use the grams function because that's going to be a lot easier to divide out. So I found out that this is 1,492 grams. The scale says 1.492 kilos, which we all know if you took basic math, 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So very easy um, conversion there. So we take 1,492 and we divide that by eight. I got the number 186.5. So that means I need to put 186 grams of this mixture into each burrito tortilla. Now, likely when you're doing this, every burrito is not gonna be absolutely perfectly perfect. But again, we're getting it as close as we possibly can. So now you're ready to make each individual pizza roll. Take your tortilla, put it on the scale and zero it out. And you're gonna start spooning the mixture into your tortilla, not all the way in the center, but a little bit more towards the edge until you get that number. For me, it was 186. Then you're gonna take it off and then you're gonna fold it like I'm doing here. So I'm folding it like a burrito as I fold the ends in. So obviously it's not coming out the ends of the burrito. And listen, I am not the best at folding. So if I can do this shit, I know that you guys can do it. Transfer that to your baking sheet with the folded side down. Now you're just gonna repeat this process for the remaining burritos and line them up on your baking sheet. Before you place them in the oven, you're gonna put your seasonings on them again. So I use oregano, Italian, and garlic. Be generous with these ones. They're calorie free. Now this next one isn't calorie free. It has five calories per teaspoon. So to me that was worth it. And it was butter sprinkles. And I did account for this in my calories. Just don't go too crazy on them. I used about one teaspoon on each burrito. And this definitely maximized the flavor. Now you're gonna throw those in the oven. 
bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. They should come out golden brown like this. Store these in the freezer if you needed to, but I ended up storing mine in the fridge and then I reheated them for about two to three minutes. Now you're done. You can easily just stack these in a container and then throw them in your fridge for the remainder of the week.